Thanks for joining me for another Airbrush Asylum video. This is part two of the Steampunk Skull Tutorial. If you haven't already, go check out part one so that you can see how I got up to this stage within the artwork and we're continuing on right now. Just going to keep detailing these cogs with the sepia. Again, up nice and close, nice and sharp with the airbrush. And that gives me that nice defined shadow. Continuing on with a bit more texture in here.
So I do hope that you're enjoying this video tutorial so far. If you are, feel free to give it the thumbs up, share it out, and let's build this airbrushing community together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, tap on that bell icon, and that'll notify you every time I put out new content. So we need to mask up the monocle. I'm just using some application tape, same stuff that you'd use if you're applying vinyl. So you can get this from uh, any sign supply shops and you can see that I can see through that well enough. So lay that down and then I can cut out my circle, use that as a template. I'm just gonna use my blade. And there we go. Now, stick that back on, like so. You can see we've got a couple of dodgy little curves there. So I can uh, fix some of those up. Just gonna use a bit of fine line tape and clean that edge up. Same thing along here. And now, can go ahead and spray my base color, which is gonna be fluoro green. Gonna dust over because it's fluoro green. It's gonna be nice and bright, which is what I want. Because I'm gonna tone it down in a minute with some shading. It's building up. Now I'm gonna shade it with some viridian. that lower edge, darken it off a bit. Let's see, it's still got plenty of punch because of the uh, fluoro. We come in with some white now and add that bright white highlight. I'm just gonna use this card and get a defined highlight. Now unmask it and see how cool that lens looks. Probably even go a little bit brighter on the center part of this. A few bright white highlights here. Now it's time to start highlighting on the actual skull. Now you can definitely see how that brightness is showing up because I've got a darker base. Really controlling those highlights so that they're only in the lighter areas.
Before I do my final tone, I want to give it some more contrast, so I want to colour the background. So I'm going to mask off the skull as a positive using my application tape again. And then I'll cut that out so it's a positive template. And then I'll spray the background. So lay that on, like so. Sketch around. It's all drawn out. I'll remove that and cut that one out. Now the hardest part is going to be where this cord is. Peel this off because we only want the positive this time. Then place this on. Okay, so now I want to fix up that edge with some masking tape. This edge is obviously easier to repair. Happy with that? Ready to spray. Okay, so I'm going to hit the background with cerulean blue. And this will give me some nice contrast. Darken off the edges a little bit. Go ahead and unmask it. You can see lots more contrast now. That's what we want. So now I'm going to come in with some burnt umber and just tint over some of these yellowy areas. Texture them as well. Still want to see some of that yellow, so I don't want to eliminate all of it. But just toning it down a little bit in spots. Giving it a more aged appearance. Adding a bit of that burnt umber to the skull as well. So now I'm going to further detail with transparent black. So I'm only going the darkest spots, you don't want to go over everything again. So you're just further deepening those shadows.
Now I'm just going to dust in some violet. Here is the completed artwork. See the background. Up close all that grunge. Glass lens. up with the teeth. You can see all the texturing. So to continue your learning be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here and until next time go grab your airbrush do some amazing artwork yourself and I'll see you again very very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.